Hey, what's up team? This is Eddie Gray and we are back at it again. Complete 13 has released a barrage of different sound sample libraries, expansions, and we're here to cover it at hfmusicacademy.com. Welcome to the channel. On this installment, we'll be covering modular icons. So this apparently is a hybrid synth and we're going to check out some of the presets and uh, we will go from there. Let's go ahead and check out their selections for bass. And like the rest of the play series, it's laid out exactly the same. You've got one sample on the left, one sample on the right. You can create a blend between both. In other words, balance between the left and the right. You've got your various macro controllers here. You've got one page dedicated to the effects, another to the sequencer itself. In other words, how is this going to play back? And then to the macros that you find down here. Looks like there's an extra gear menu here, which gives you some more information. Is this going to be played out in mono, legato? Um. So, uh, anyway, let's keep it going here. We've got effects coming up. <laughs> so that has a bit of a random vibe to it. Looks like you got layer A and layer B, and each one of these has under the sound tab ability to transpose to tune. I would assume this is in fine sense. You can pan the sound left or right. You can change the actual sample here. Let's try a uh, tubular. Add a little bit of noise. Reduce. Uh, sounds like a bit crusher. I'm sure this does the same. Let's check it out. And color.
sounds like is coloring the noise. We've got the filter cut off, resonance. Um, so this is sample A. And here's B on the right hand side. So it seems that this ladder low pass four is what's creating a lot of that movement. Now the question becomes, how do you connect these? Um, so we can look into that a little bit later. But uh, you've got one LFO here, another here, your ADSR controls, and then your amp envelope controls here. Okay. All right, let's uh, go ahead and check out a couple more here. Here's pads. Yeah, lots going on in this engine. Again, you have the sequence here where you can change the pitch, which I wonder if that's what's triggering the MIDI. Let's check it out. So then this pattern is being generated by the sequencer. That's pretty fascinating. You can change the rate if you wanted to. Let's do a uh, one eighth. Can I change the key? Let's go to the key of E and I'll change the scale. Let's go um, Dorian. So hitting latch will allow the sound to play out without you having to hold down the keyboard. So you would hit the key and then essentially just let it run. Looks like you've got some macro controllers here dedicated to these guys. So let's say we wanted to do a cutoff over time, something like that. This is pretty intricate and obviously the name now makes a lot more sense. This is like modular synthesis where a bunch of things are being connected and you're just getting these wild sounds um, in, in not too of a complicated fashion. So that's pretty cool. Let's uh, try this out.
All right, I'm pretty impressed with this. I could see applications, you know, all across all genres, all styles of music. It just works. This is definitely something that I would be using quite a lot. So this is the percussion category. Something that you might want to be careful with is, you know, I turned on the sequencer a while back and I changed the key and it, it kept the key in the mode. So you might want to be careful with that. Looks like it's got some presets here for that. That's pretty sweet. That's not going to help you in percussion mode, but let's say you're using a pad or something. All right, so a lot to be said about modular icons. Um, definitely a heavy engine set, and there is you know some learning curve, but you can just pick up and play as well. I think that there's two kinds of users, you know, those that can just start playing with the macro controllers. And those that are just going to require some time to really learn the engine and understand what each and every single parameter does. And then on top of that, how to really utilize best the macros that you find here. So with that being said, guys, thank you very much for watching Modular Icons. Very excited about this release. We've been releasing content all week. I hope you've been enjoying it. And if you have, of course, all we ask is that you refer somebody to the channel resources for the modern creative. If you like the channel yourself, go ahead and like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Thank you guys very much for watching. And we're so very excited to connect with you soon as we bring you more content and more and more and more. So thank you very much. Have yourselves a nice day. We will talk soon. Cheers.